I'm Tim Roach, the East Coast Recruiting Coordinator, and I'm joined by my tip-off media correspondent, Ryan Natividad. Our special guest today is Malcolm Christie, a 6'5 guard from Fredericton, New Brunswick, who played last season at Fredericton High School. In 2019, Malcolm helped lead the New Brunswick under-17 provincial team at Nationals to a bronze medal, then won provincial championship with Fredericton High School in 2020. He was also nominated for the All-Canadian BioSteel game this year and is currently being recruited by over a dozen U-Sport schools. He has built up an impressive resume and it's clear in my opinion that he's one of the top recruits on the East Coast. Malcolm, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm great. All right, Malcolm, I wanted to ask the first question here and I want to know you know, with the pandemic that's going on, how have you been keeping yourself in game shape throughout this pandemic? And uh, especially on the mental aspect as well, gearing yourself up for the upcoming season. Um, well, I guess, you know, when the bubble rules and we were allowed to kind of go and start to play outside, we've uh, a lot of the guys here locally and, you know, some of the university guys, you know, have, we've been able to get out and, uh, get runs in and get some like good shots up and workouts in but it's all outdoors so obviously it's uh not the same as playing in a gym but I mean it's still getting shots up so that's it's been great but uh I'd say over quarantine it was just kind of you know doing as much as you could can like at home where's that like working out lifting weights you know just trying to stay in shape uh not letting go too much and now that we're kind of you know especially in, in New Brunswick we were able to do just about you know not anything but you know it's definitely loose the rules have loosened a little bit able to go and get some good shots up good good run and uh you know obviously compared to getting Um, Malcolm, you captured a provincial title last year, or this season that just went by, I should say. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me about the process to winning the title. What was that like during the season or leading up to it? Uh, well, we were the favorite, I'd say, for most of the, the whole year. We had uh, the best player in the province, Norm Burry, on our team, and he was a huge piece of that team, too. And uh, I guess, like, the whole year we worked really hard. We uh, – held ourselves to really high standards. We went out to BC um, and we played in a tournament out there against some of the top competition in BC and we came back and uh, we ended up winning that tournament actually. So we kind of, we held ourselves to a pretty high standard. We had pretty high hopes for ourselves. And uh, once we, you know, won, uh, I think it was sectionals, sectionals or regionals to get to Harbor Station, we kind of, we had, uh, you know, we were like, we were so close, we can't give it up now. And especially because we lost the year before to the same team. It was the Bernice McNaughton team. And uh, so, you know, meeting them at Harbor Station again next year just seemed, you know, it was, it was a good way to go out and definitely a good way to finish our year. That's very impressive, especially because you had mentioned to me that you guys went undefeated um, amongst New Brunswick teams this year. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, we didn't lose in New Brunswick. Very nice. What was Except your goal? Against RNS, but we yeah. lost to the prep team, but that was that was like no none of the public school or MBIA teams in New Brunswick. Gotcha. Um, what was your role on the team? Uh, I was, uh, I'd say I was, other than Norm, probably our go-to scorer. Uh, offensively, I was prob I was a key part for our uh, offense to keep rolling. Um, I'd like to think of myself as a pretty uh, leader on that team. Uh, but yeah, I think that I would, I was definitely someone that the guys were able to go to throughout the year, um, as a leader and uh, a scorer, and just kind of someone that the guys could rely on. Great, Malcolm. What's your biggest motivator when it comes to playing the game at such a high level? I know you mentioned that you keep yourself to a high standard. So, what's what's your biggest motivator when you're playing the game? Um, I think it's just, you know, being as competitive as I am, and especially at FHS, it's a, you know, you, you go into FHS, it's, there's, a, there's so many good teams and good players that have come out of there, you know, you don't want to, 
be one of those teams that it is kind of a bum year. You want to go out and you want to do the best you can. And, uh, you know, I've grown up watching FHS play and now, you know, finally being able to play for them. And, you know, you get all this interest. It's, it makes you want to keep playing and work that much harder to kind of, you know, be as good as you can and win as much as you can. And I just think every day in practice, you know, all our practices are always super competitive, super intense. It's been, uh, it's been awesome and a really good way to uh, keep myself going. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy to play and practice every single day for a lot of people, but it, uh, it keeps it fun and it keeps me motivated and ready to keep working every day. Nice to know that you had a winning season and an undefeated season in New Brunswick. I guess those exactly. factors didn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Malcolm, how did it feel to be part of the New Brunswick uh, when you captured a medal last year at, for, uh, at Nationals? Excuse me. How did that feel? Oh, that was crazy. It was that was like one of the best basketball experiences that I would have been a part of. It was, you know, we every year that you play on a on a team, a provincial team, especially, it's like you. You always think, you know, we talk about the start of the year, like, what's the goal? You always want a medal. And especially being New Brunswick, you know, it's no one, everyone counts you out the minute you get there. It's uh, kind of a little chip that every, we all would have on our shoulder is that, you know, people look on the schedule and see that they're playing New Brunswick and they immediately just count us out and think, oh, that's an automatic win. Uh, there's not a whole lot of respect that uh, we're given. We kind of got to go and take everything. And the fact that U17 has, New Brunswick had never won or even medaled before at all at nationals and we felt like we had the uh talent and the guys to do it we had a really strong team all, all the way through and uh I just felt like you know when we finally did it it was you know it just felt like we had finally achieved the goal that we th we've been talking about ever since we were U15 you know just and it was it was pretty crazy and especially uh to do that at home in front of all those people it was it was a really cool experience that's historic, man, too. And I'm just saying, as a Maritimer myself, I mean, to see you guys medal for the first time, that's really, really impressive to see. For sure. Yeah, it was awesome. Malcolm, I want to know, because you're, you know, you're very talented for your height and position. Um, can you describe to us what your all-around game is when it comes to playing basketball? Um, I would say that I'm a, a two guard. That's my uh, regular position. Uh, so especially in the Maritimes, I'm a pretty tall two guard. Uh, I think I'm able to handle the ball, like bring it up and pass really well. I think offensively is where I'd be uh, a big, th a big threat. I think I can score, I can shoot. Um, but I do think that playmaking is one of the things that I, you know, I like to be able to think that I can get my teammates involved just as much as I can get myself involved. Uh, so yeah, I'd say that offensively, that would be my biggest, uh, my biggest strength and defense is something that I, also, obviously, everyone needs to work on, but I think uh, that's definitely coming for me, and especially with my length, it's uh, it's something that is a little uh, it's coming quickly. So I'm excited to start a new season, and well, hopefully, and see how everything goes with that. Malcolm, if there's one part of your game, because I know you described you have an all-around game um, that you would like to add to your arsenal, or something that you would like to improve on, what would that be? Um, I'd say my ball handling and my on ball defense. I think that, uh, for someone that is, can be six, 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 five, almost six, six, and, uh, be, a you know, a good on ball defender that a team can rely on to guard just about anyone one through five or one. Yeah. One through five. I think that that is something that I would like to be able to do eventually be able to guard just about any position. I think that would help, uh, boost my game to another level. Uh, just to become more versatile on defense. And I think that if I could improve my handle to uh, help, well, I know I already play two, but if I could be able to handle the ball under pressure a little bit better, I think that that would definitely help my game. It's very interesting, the criteria that you describe your game and especially how you want to improve in your game. Um, just recently, something came out where Ben Simmons is, a, is the point guard at, you know, the Sixers and he's six mm. foot. And now... yeah trying to get him to play multiple positions, including power forward. Um, exactly, yeah. It's very interesting how creative basketball is becoming now, um, especially with all the talent that's coming out. Um, who is one of your favorite players, or if you only have one, who's your favorite player in the NBA to date? Uh, Jason Tatum. I think I'm a diehard Celtics fan, and uh, 
I think that his, you know, being a tall and long two, three guard, I think uh, his game, I really like his game. And that's kind of who I try and model myself after. Uh, I think that his, you know, his ability to score off the dribble is just, I just think he's so smooth. I just, I really like his game. Awesome. That's very good. Yeah. Um, Malcolm, you were nominated for the 2020 BioSteel game. Yeah. How does it feel to be nominated not only as one of the top players in Canada, but as one of the elite players in New Brunswick? Um, I, that was definitely, you know, I remember it was after, uh, I think it was after one of our tournaments, maybe, or after a game, and one of my friends texted me and said, hey, man, you just, you got nominated for the BioSteel game, and it had been something that I've talked about with uh, my dad and coaches about, you know, and even my friends, you know, it's definitely uh, would have been a crazy experience. And obviously I was disappointed that I wasn't able to make that team, but to be able to be recognized and know that uh, people are noticing me and seeing what's happening in New Brunswick definitely felt good. You know, it uh, like I said earlier, you all, you kind of have this chip on your shoulder because no one gives you anything coming from New Brunswick. You know, we're a small small province that's never really done all that well in basketball. So I think uh, being able to get recognized definitely felt good. Yeah, absolutely. And I was just, before Ryan uh, asked you another question, just to say like, not only elite from New Brunswick, but one of the elite players from the East Coast. And that's mm. quite something in my opinion, big time. Totally, yeah. With all that coming in for you, Malcolm, uh, with my final question, as we bring our interview to a close, I want to know for Malcolm Christie, what are your next goals in the next year? Uh, in the next year, I want to be able to, uh, assuming we have a season, I would like to go back to back and win a provincial championship. Uh, I think if I can help lead our team to another Harbor Station championship in New Brunswick, that would be huge. Uh, undefeated season, that would be awesome. Uh, and then moving forward, I just I know I want to play at the next level, and I want to be as you know, uh, be an impact player at the next level, and hopefully just you know do as well as I can. And we'll be right there with you, uh, rooting for you on your completed journey and, and continuing journey um, on towards. Awesome. The season. So, yeah. Malcolm, Tim, and I thank you for joining us on today's session. Um, thank you for answering all of our questions. Thank you for being part of our broadcast. Uh, we look forward to your continued success in the near future. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank, yeah, you, thank you, Malcolm. And to everyone right. tuning in, um, this is Ryan, media correspondent from Tip Off Sports, alongside with my colleague, Tim Roach. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. Take care.